Right. So, welcome to the channel. Time to get shuffling off to Buffalo. Yes. Um. Time to go, get out of here, do we go down, oh, get them, this guy going to be in the way. Um, yeah, I think it'll be fine, get through here, won't we? Uh, see you in a fortnight! See you, Ducky! <laughs> When's the next bank holiday? All right, I wasn't sure if it'd have another one. Yeah, three weeks today. Here. Right. 27th. 27th. Is it any good? One brilliant. It got a bit busier and it started raining. <laughs> but it wasn't too bad. I haven't, I haven't made enough to cover my diesel, but never mind. <laughs> no, it's good fun. Bye. What the hell's over there? <laughs> you don't want to be looking at that shit. No. You don't. You don't want to be doing that. Oh, what the hell's that? I don't know if that music, it's like... Um, Some Hello, welcome to the channel! Hello, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Um, so, we're leaving. No, we are leaving! We're leaving in the morning. Don't want to go too fast here because it, it's going to get the car all minging. Don't want to go too fast. No. So we've got a uh, limited battery power going on with this. Um, potholes. Potholes. I have to wash the car. We'll get home. happening here, we're going very slow, uh, we've got uh, a caravan and um, knowledge and storage. Oh, that's a fun, uh, that transit with a caravan, yeah, right. Oh, they're turning right, so that's a good thing. Where does that go to? Because we had bit, better less, better lees. Right. Better lees. Right. So that's better lees.
Right, so we're we're heading out of um, <sighs> Salaf. Um, oh yeah, right. I know. I can sing like that. Calvo. We're in Calvo. Calvo. No, I've been England. Um, the thing with Scotland is that there's sort of grievance culture in Scotland that I'm not part of, by the way. Um, with the grievance thing. Um, they forget, so they always think that they're getting hard done by, but they forget the north of England is neglected. You know, so it, it's you get a lot of, like really. What I'm trying to say is, you get a lot of, like really peasant like people here. They're just skinting around and hard up and all the rest of it. You know, you get that here. Uh, they have all like sat enough. Oh, she she gets. So what I mean is, they're quite miserable. I mean, some of the people that are trying to buy stuff, you know, they're like fucking miserable bastards. I think. But at the end of the day, that, that's like that everywhere, really. So, I need to tone my neck in a bit. Stop being so, stop being so cynical about. So B, so that was Calvo. We're trying, we're trying to work out where everywhere it is. Where it is everywhere. Now this is in Ab this will be Abbey Town. Abbey Town, welcome to Abbey Town. It's a lovely little town. Ah, thank you. Ah. So it's 33. So this is this is a civilized country. So you can do 30 through towns. They're not doing that stupid 20 thing. Um, and so what happened up in Falkirk was they got they had the opportunity to avoid that idiotic shit. And they went for it recently, and it's really embarrassing. It really is. It's like the 20 pit zone is just absolutely criminal. It, it's pointless because nobody's going to do it anyway. You know, it's a really, it's, it's, it indicates what's wrong with our political system that it's fundamentally, I was going to say flawed, but fucked would be a more accurate word. Political system's fucked. So. <clears throat> um, something funny about my. Aye, so. Everybody knows that it's stupid. Uh, it's uh, like a power thing. So, kind of power trip. But it's, it's virtue struggling claptrap for. I, I, I never actually really wanted to start introducing more legislation, but I think they should start hammering cyclists, and that will shut them up. 
stop them from, so they can become the victims for a change. You know? Cyclists, idiots. And they, uh, so they introduced it in, in the earth, Falkirk, and a waste of time. Nobody's going to pay attention to it. Um, And here, why is that? Why is that Fiesta stopping? What's going on? Why were they braking? We've been driving fairly fast of late. Oh, we've got a tractor. A tractor. A tractor. It could be a bit tricky passing that on this, driving this hill. Could have been away there. When you've got to go, you know. Um, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, you can't hang a bit far on a tractor for miles. Yeah. Uh, this is. Is this where it, no, this is Waver Bridge. Waver Bridge. Now watch this bridge down here. It's a really accident spot. Potential crush. Crush situation. Right here. So we need to slow down here. Oncoming vehicles in the middle of the road. So the truck was coming down here and I thought it was a car. Because I'm so dumb. Nice and slow, get nice and easy.
where are we going now? Oh, we turn left here. Yes. So, straight ahead uh, is Wigton. Oh, yes! A bit of wood lorry. Oh, yes. That's a good thing about, about videoing. Um, like, you just switch it on and drive. You know, you don't touch it. And then and just turn it off when you get to where you're going. And that way, you know, like, it would have been a bit sudden to catch that truck, you know. <clears throat> so I remember and get that truck off. The truck. Um, better not go too fast here because I've got cameras here. 55 will do. It's starting to become a bit of an issue, isn't it? Truck spotting. <coughs> there's a there's a truck. There's a caravan. Caravan spotting. It's sort of car I would have if I lived there. Be, be abused quite a bit.
Hello, we can see. Holy moly. BBC Radio Feeds. Okay, okay, okay. So this whole place, this whole land, has been raped. The United Kingdom. It's the British Isles. I prefer to call it the British Isles. So I pick more so it's geographically rather than politically. On the other hand, Philip Crowley, a present day enthusiast for Richard, has an island. a close connection with the British Isles. The screenplay. Well, Bones explores how history is written, and not only challenges interpretations of the past, but considers how we think about such things today. <coughs> and old Bones is followed by Harvest, Viscardi's Midnight, a book and more book, written last year as part of a suite inspired by the Barrow Peninsula in South West Ireland. Darvis says the piece imagines moonlight shimmering on the <sighs> reflection of the mountains hazy on its surface. She adds that her music addresses universal themes of homecoming and the yes. and is also influenced by local folklore. Appropriate then that Tara's piece is thrown out to the by Hugh Kinsey himself of Irish and English folk songs. In the Shunabu, the poet wants to support her mother and his military career but laments that he's going away to fight in France. Time is precious. Then, in the lark in the morning, the routine life of the lark is compared to the growing relationship yeah. between Richard Great and honest. Susan. Pretty sure I've been on that one. Oh, look at that. There's a nice church there. It was a T4, a Volkswagen T4. It's a Stobad! Eddie Stobad! Oh, it's a freaking cyclist! Oh, yes, just hold up, everybody. Plus, we give you 1.5 meters of space, and we give the car coming towards us 20 millimeters. But you are more important, aren't you? In your push bike. Or in Grange. So you could have popped over there, BMW.
Give it the beans. Give it the beans. The beans, 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 beans. Good, yeah. This is where they're doing the road works. Uh, Kingsmuir Park. Uh, UB West, aye, that's what I called it. Truck. Wow. House road. I forget, I was on one of these roundabouts the last time I was down. And I can't actually remember which one it was. If it was this one or the, um, the next one. They, look, they both look very similar. Very 
very similar. It's quite a cool bridge here, isn't it? Up here. Um, yeah. Was it this? Was it this one you were on? You went. You picked up some wood and whatever. Some timber. These indicate, like I am, indicating drug spying. Was that Jenkinson? It was. That's Jenkinson as well. Yes. What's this van doing sitting here? Maybe fishing, ah, they probably did fishing. Yeah. Hotels and potels, plenty of them. I always wanted to do a video here, but you're not going to see much, are you? Like, but there'll be a walk around both rounds. You get two roundabouts in one, don't you? Um, but you would. It was to get part, but the, the jippos were in here. I, I pulled in one day to go and do it, and the jippos were there. Right in there, there's a digger in there. Um, so, apparently, Morrison's. Uh, so, now Jenkinson. We're going to try and find Morrison's or we're going to look it up. I can't actually remember, I, I just can't think of it. I've, I've been to Asda and I've been to... Um, is that motorhome in the wrong lane? I would say yes. Um, the van behind me has went the same as me, but then that's probably because he's copying me. But that motorhome seemed to go round the wrong way. As the So I've got up to the big roundabout and head back. Wow. Um, I 
could do with some diesel actually. Yeah, I think we'll go and fill it up at Aster. Then we could fill it up at Morrison's. Um, uh, yeah, mm, last. I'm going to fill it up at Morrison's or Asda. Um, um, fuck it, we'll go down to Asda. to Asda and get fuel. Ugh. Yes. Fuel in Asda and it looks doesn't look too bad. But on the other side, 152.7. How's that sounding? Um oh it's quite, oh, I'll get around there, right in there. Get it right in there. Ugh.